Well, yeah, this is. <laughs> Get that beanie on your head, player. So snatch that hat off your head. <laughs> Why y'all do nothing when a fat bitch jumped on me? Players fuck up. Players fuck Just snatch up. Snatch that shit off your head, boy. Snatch shit off your head, man. No more division. We gotta come together. Yeah. It starts at the home base, man. It starts at the home, the home front. front. The home front. It starts so at the home front. That's yeah. why that was so big with him talking about being a leader. Because um, it starts at the whole front with your family, the way your wife treats you and look at you, and how you take care of the household. And then your kids see that. If you have children, you know, your daughter see that. Your son sees that, how you treat mom, how you make mom melt. You know, how you guys, you know, you're going to have arguments. You're around each other, live around each other all day. But you know how to de-escalate the situation. You know how to be a leader. You know how to protect the home. You know, it's just, it's a big thing. The home front is big. Being a leader is big. So if you yelling, she yelling, kids in the back, they don't, they they remember all that and see all that too. So it's a big deal. Oh, yeah. Big time. Big time. And if you ain't got no kids and you're just a a young single person out there, it's best to get yourself prepared and ready. So um, all a lot, a lot of your relationships that you go through, um, yeah. they're gonna. It's sad. It's really sad. You're gonna you're gonna break up with the person that you you're madly in love with right now. The person that you think you might get married to, mm-hmm. um, you're gonna break up with that person. And you're gonna get another person. You're gonna get you're gonna fall madly in love with too. Mm-hmm. And you're probably gonna break up with that person too. Mm-hmm. And then eventually you you might find uh you know someone you you can live and spend the rest of your life with, uh. Hopefully it doesn't take too long, but throughout this process, you're learning and you're growing from relationship to relationship. You're learning on what you did wrong. Mm. It's, it's, it's not about what they did wrong uh, when you leave the relationship. It's about what you did wrong. Right. Uh, you know, it's prevent to prevent those things to happen right. in your next relationship. You right. know, and you just keep improving, improving, improving until you can become um, the highest value that you can become mm. on the market. You know what I mean? Um, and a lot of dating sometimes you don't really need to be out there dating if if you know you ain't uh, if you know you ain't one hundred percent right if you know you got some things you got to work on if you know so you know that there's some shit you should be fixing right. you should work on fixing that before you even be out on the dating market and I've always right. I've always thought about this my whole life uh, <clears throat> excuse me if you broke you shouldn't be dating what does that mean by being broke I mean like literally broke. Not just, you know, you got some, you got a little bit of money and you got a job or you got some money. You go ahead, man, if that's what you want to spend your your, your, your hard-earned money on. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm talking about broke as in you don't really have much money. You don't, you don't, you can't keep a steady job. Mm-hmm. Um, you don't. Oh, so you're really talking about financially yeah, broke? Yeah, bro. Oh, okay. Talk about financially talking about broke. Broken. Yeah, no, if you, if, you no, if you broke financially, don't be out here dating, man. Uh, no, it's, can't, it's, right? It's, how, how do you, exactly, that's yeah. what I'm saying. It's not worth it. It's it's really yeah. not worth it because um, you're not going to be able to provide much and, it, and mm. you're going to be spending all the little bit of money that you do have because mm. you only work a couple hours here and there this week or you don't have a stay at job uh, or you got a little side yeah, hustle. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, it's yeah, not worth yeah. spending, It's not worth spending that little bit I of always, money that you have about that on too. dating. Yeah. Because I did that when I was broke. Yeah. When, it's when not I, good. Yeah, or when if you're sleeping like on a blow up mattress, like you should have you should have everything in order with yourself. Both and the highest self love for yourself. You should have, you know, a decent job, a good job, income coming in, you know, all your bills is taken care of. You sleep in a nice bed. A car that works. A car that works. That's yes, it. Sir. Not the nice yes, carnal fancy yeah, shit. Yeah, car that works. Car that works. A you fucking, to see. Got a decent bed that you can lay in. Right. That's not on the floor. Right. You know what I mean? Like shouldn't be out here dating if your bed on the floor. That's it. It's certain shit that you know you should be. You should have certain yeah. shit in order. Yeah. You should be yeah. a grown man. <laughs> yeah, now we can date, nigga. Now we can play. Let's play. Now right. niggas can get fresh and the car tuned up and gassed up. Yeah, it's washed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's for sure. That's rule number one. Yeah. Can't just be on the dating market if you don't if you don't have yourself in order. Yeah. Once you have yourself in order, if you want to date, you know yeah. you're gonna spend your the, the the your savings basically the money you should be saving. Mm. You'll be spending that on dating, so that's that's on you. Mm. That's your decision. 
Um, and then an, an, another another thing is if you if you're out here dating, mm -hmm. have respect for yourself. <clears throat> because the other person that you're dating probably won't have it. They probably don't, just don't have that for you. They probably won't have that for you for a long time. It, mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So it's it's best that you have respect for yourself while you're dating. Respect for yourself while you're dating. Big yeah. time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't be out here making yourself look like no fool. Like, yeah. And with with that being said, with all that too, have your education up too. You know, you don't want to be on a date. Don't have nothing strong to talk about or, you know, don't know how to pronounce certain words when you're talking and stuff like that. So when we say have yourself together, not even, you know, financially, but just all the way around, all the way together if you're going on a date, you know? It's that's big. Yeah. yeah, that's definitely big. Yeah. Any more? I don't love her. Any more tips for dating? I got a million tips for dating. Okay. Um, another good tip. I got another great tip actually for dating. Mm. A great tip for dating. Um, have the whole date planned out before you do the date. Before yep. you go to the date. Yeah. Um, yep. If you're going to be the person that's like setting up this date, if you're the male or the female, yep. most you likely you should it's have it envisioned in your head. Yeah. 90% of it is males setting up dates, 10%, you know, females. But if you're in a relationship, that's different because a lot of times the females will set up the date when you're in a relationship. Mm. It's weird how that works. A lot of times. That's why I said a lot of times. But anyway. Yeah. Because yeah. a male's busy, should be providing, should be working, should, doesn't really have time to sit around. And, you know, if he has a woman that he's that, that's at home, and that's just how, that, that's, it depends. Right, it just right, depends. Right, right, right. But. With that being said, um, go to this place. Do not, do not show up to and try to do like an extravagant date or have like a nice date somewhere that you've never been yet. Uh, you know what I mean? Okay. Try to go experience it first and see if it's worth the experience. See if it's if, if this is something that you really want to show somebody and mm. do with somebody else and enjoy with somebody else. Um, the biggest, coolest, beautifulest thing of that that whole idea is that you get to also enjoy yourself first, date yourself first. That's always number one. Enjoy yourself, love like yourself. That. You know what I, I mean. Like uh, no. Treat yourself. Don't cheat yourself. You know. I so like there's there, you have the ability to do that. Now, now this doesn't follow. This doesn't fall in uh, on in the lines of every different date, but there right. are a lot of different dates. Like I'll throw one out right now. Axe throwing. You can go to an axe throwing spot and um, check it out. See if females could even do it. Check, make sure, make sure if you see any females that are the size of the female that you're going to take, is she able to do it? You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, kind of well, interactive activity is always number one. Yeah, that's the best day. Yeah, easy. easy. You know what I mean? Easy. easy. Like bowling. That's, that's a layup. Another thing, bowling. That's go to the bowling alley. See if you like the smell. If you like the music. If you like the place. You think this is going to be a cool place to go on a date at? You know. Mm -hmm. Check out the area. Make sure, you know, it looks safe or whatever. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. Go check the spot out. You know what I mean? Before you take the date out. Mm -hmm. That's a huge tip. That's a huge, huge, huge tip. Um, and again, that's why I said dating ain't for people who can't financially afford it. Because dating is expensive. Especially if you want to try to go this route where you can go to this place. And a lot of places, a lot of venues, a lot of event spots... You can walk in for free. You don't have to pay to go to 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 be at the bowling alley. Right. You can check it out. You don't have right, to even right. pay to be at the movie theaters. You just right. got to pay to walk through right. the you know the spot the to get yeah, into yeah. you when know you what I mean. Want a bowl? You got to pay. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know what I mean. A lot of these like, the axe throwing spot. You don't have to pay to do all this stuff. You can walk through this stuff and say, hey, I even tell the tell the employees, hey, I got a date idea to bring with a little shorty over here. You know what I mean? Taking me, thick, shorty. thick. You know what I mean? She like a peanut butter. You know. Anyway, I'm thinking taking this, thinking you know me? Maximum, I'm you trying know. to take Buns McGee out. <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> <laughs> That's all niggas know is Buns. <laughs> oh, save him from the booty. <laughs> nah, but yeah, so you just let him know, you know what I mean? I'm just, you know, you walking through so you can do a lot of walkthroughs. Check yeah. these spots out. Uh, hunted houses or, um, 
uh, what do they call them? Uh, uh, you know, whatever they call it, uh, these old these old histo- um, historical buildings or whatever. Yeah, Victorian homes. Uh, Victorian yeah, homes. You yeah, can yeah. ask people, hey, you mind if it's, it's cool to employees? I'm not here to fuck around or anything like that. I got an idea for a date. It's playing with this. With the woo. I'm planning this, this, and this. Right. I just want to make sure this right. is cool. Like, y'all got an idea. Right, this is right, cool. Right, like, right, 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 right. Most of the time, it's a security center right there. Or an actual host or something. They'll fuck around and just, oh, come with me real quick. Yeah. They can just take yeah. you take you and Shorty right here, take pictures over there. Yeah, 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 check yeah, this yeah, out yeah. over here. Yeah, y'all should be cool. There's some player shit you can do out there, too. You see what I'm saying? Once you get right. One, like, yeah. yeah. Like, like the pictures at Yosemite, that's next level. That's next level. It only costs 25 to get in the park, buddy. Beautiful Look. pictures. Take pictures all day. Insane. But you got to be ready to walk for five miles. Right. So you can't just, you know what I mean? Right. Make a smart date. Do smart yeah, things. Yeah, do smart yeah, things. Yeah. If she's a workout type. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do, do yeah. smart things. Yeah, you can't do yeah. certain things that, you know, big girls uh, should be doing that shouldn't be doing or little girls should be doing and shouldn't be doing. Right. You know, to be right. smart about what you got going on. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you got to take all that in consideration. If you got a taller woman you're going on a date with, you don't want something where she got to hunch her back, hunch yeah, over. Yeah, yeah you know exactly. I mean? We got to do just different yeah. things. Yes, yeah, sir. Smart, smart, smart ideas, man. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, that's another date tip. I got uh, I got a million dating tips, but I don't want to give them all out. Okay. But I got a million dating tips, though. Okay. Another great dating tip, though. I like that one. That one's fun. Yeah, go ahead. Ooh, yeah, I can't give out that one yet. Not that one? <laughs> nah, I can't give out that one. Um... Oh, I got another great one, though. Another great one. Uh, Another great dating tip is not to look at the bill when it comes to the table. That shows something like, oh, it's like it shows a lot. It shows a whole lot of confidence. It shows a lot of character. Um. Yeah, it might it, it might seem like to a if you were like a gold digger type bitch, you're just gonna think, oh, this nigga just got money, a ball, or just whatever. He just paid for the meal. But a lot of a lot of first dates aren't are n- never never at like fancy restaurants. Shouldn't be. You know what I mean? Yeah. Majority any majority of the first few restaurant dates, yeah. they're not at like fancy restaurants. Right. Not yeah. too fancy. We're not talking where right. it shouldn't be that expensive. Right. <laughs> I hope you don't do that. Okay. Yeah, I hope yeah. no one's stupid to enough to just off. show off and go to like Alexander Steakhouse, Alexander's or Fleming's or do anything like you know, nah, Fogo de Chow one. or nah. nah I'm, that's, that's what I'm saying. One. The first few dates are normal. The first few restaurant yeah. dates are normally at regular restaurants where it's not that expensive anyway. Don't look at the bill when it comes. Just ask whenever you ask for the check. Or whenever she asks for a check, it's mm-hmm. already already have the debit card out and ready. So whenever it comes, don't even let the lady set the oh. plate down. Don't even let her. Don't even let her card. hand her the card. I'm not. Oh. I don't even want to check it out. Here you go, lady. Oh, okay. It's it's ultra player. Um, that's ultra player. <laughs> it's ultra player <laughs> okay. for one. Um, it's uh, it, it it's like I said, it shows a lot of confidence. It shows that uh, you know, um, you know the meal, the meal, the the price of this meal don't really mean much. You know, it's more so the time, right? right. The enjoyment of the of the, of, of, of the company, right? You know, um, simple shit like that. You know, it's small, it's basic. So you won't even know you won't even know what you pay for until it come back and you got to sign a signature. But again. Your first two restaurants you go to should not be that expensive, right, so this right, all should right, play right, along right, with the you right, know what I mean. Right, right, right. You know what I mean. And if you that are restaurant, you don't do that. Yeah. And if you are one of them silly, uh, I'm calling you silly. One of them silly niggas that take a female to like a top of the line five star restaurant, nigga, paying three hundred dollars for two people to go. If, if you're doing all that on the first few dates, then you know where you're going. You know how much that shit costs. Yeah. Don't look at the bill, nigga. Yeah. Right. Hand over the debit card before they even set the damn bill down. Mm. Mm. I like that. That's just how it works. That's player. 
That's how it works. This is player. You know, you know yeah. what you set yourself up for. You know what it is. You know what time it yeah, is. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what we're like doing. You, say, you shouldn't be dating if you're broke anyway. So yep. You know what time. You know what's going on. I can start dropping a million things. Okay, another date information. Uh, or information. Another cool dating tip is that on your first date, don't touch the woman. Don't touch the woman. Don't touch the woman. Don't touch the woman. Damn. Don't touch her on the first date. Oh, but you can do that initial hug. No, don't touch her. <laughs> nope. Unless she unless she reaches up to like if she's initiating a hug or something, that initial first hug. Getting a hug, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting a hug. Getting a hug, nigga. Look I'm yummy. Feel something, nigga. Look yummy. I ain't gonna lie, especially if she got that dress on. I really want to hug badly, so I can. I'm six two. I just look over and just be like, oh, buns. I'm six two. Buns, 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 buns. <laughs> buns, <laughs> buns, buns. buns. Um, but yeah, so don't touch a woman on the first date. Okay. Ice player. No handshake. No nothing. Uh, no, like, like I said, unless she had, no, unless she had, no hell no, nah, unless oh, okay. she initiates it. If she initiates okay, okay. a hug yeah, or something yeah, yeah, or something yeah, like yeah, that, yeah, or if she initiates a handshake, she puts her hand out. I was yeah. going to just sit there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Uh, Mar told me don't touch you. Don't do it. <laughs> Six Looking feet, bitch. No, so um, <laughs> at that moment, uh, you know, mm-hmm. you, you don't, you're not trying to get a first kiss on a first date. You're not trying to hold her hand. You're not trying to, you know, do none of that stuff. You know what I mean? Unless she initiates it. Okay. On the first date. I like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? Huh, yeah. Excuse me. Yeah, on the first date, you know, that's that's one big thing. You know, big thing. Uh, and that's just like a, a first date thing. Okay. After yeah, that, you know, After it's a that. little different. No. No. No, <laughs> no freak show. <laughs> Fuck, this nigga said yeah. After that, freak now. Nah. Freak <laughs> uh, No, so none of that. Buns. And then um, it's there though. Buns, bu- fun buns. Buns are fun. I like buns. A couple of them. Two, three. Let me wiggle. Anyway, another good one is uh oh. Dating tip if you are getting ready to get some tip. It's like this is the third date, fourth date. Third day, fourth date. It could be the first date, depending on, you know. Home run? If the home run's there, if the ball was thrown right. and If it's you, slow pitch. Yeah, and the ball was thrown right, you just cracked it. This big and, and it was there, and you knew all you had to do is one, two, and three, and you made it. So, yeah, it don't matter what date it is, but if you know for sure this is the date that y'all finna do the, you know what I mean? Um. Get as much, get as much of the personal connection stuff out in the, in the open as, as possible on that day, on that date, on that time that y'all hanging out or whatever, so that you guys could become more uh, uh, ready, ready yeah. and in tuned yeah. and you know release. Yeah. You know you're not so uh, scared yeah, 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 or so yeah, shy yeah, yeah. or uh, yeah, yeah, that's so clear. you know what I mean. So try to you know try to try to connect as much as you can. That day, yeah, yeah. So ask and be about, smooth with it too. Like, yeah. don't just be like, "Oh, you like doggy style?" Yeah, no. what? Yeah, weird. exactly. Yeah, don't yeah. be, yeah, like, don't. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah let that, let it be yeah. known. Like, I'm I'm into let her let her know yeah, straight yeah, up. So yeah. just so you can start it off. So it makes her comf- makes her comfortable with, with, with expressing herself. But right. to a lot, like I said, uh, a lot of times it's hard for a woman to even express herself. It's, it's it's a feminine thing. She'll just express her feelings. Right, it's right. It's hard for right. her to like tell you right, necessarily right, what right. she means, though. Yeah, it's yeah. how she feels. She can do that. It's gonna come off random. Yeah, yeah. But and you could be smooth with it too. Like, oh yeah, I like conversation. I like conversation in the bedroom too. Like, you gotta talk to me. Yeah. Like, don't don't be quiet. Don't be like, quiet. Let me yeah. Know. Yeah. All the shit, whatever you like. Mm-hmm. Let her tell tell her all the stuff you like. You know, kind of and, and, and kind of break it down. You know what I mean? And you guys, you know, and and then just let her know. Uh, you know, I don't want to do this or I don't want to do that. You know, I'm not into this. Please don't try to touch my butt. You gotta edit this out. <laughs>
nigga said, please, <laughs> please don't touch my butt. Damn. <laughs> please don't touch my butt. <laughs> That's weird. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm crying, bro. Oh, uh, because I know niggas like that shit. Please don't touch my. Please, please, please. I'm a virgin, bro. I said, don't touch my butt at all, lady. At all, please, like. But he's sick. I'm sorry. I'm sick, sorry. Man. I'm sorry. Please don't touch my butt. Please. Right. <laughs> oh man, I'm done. I'm sorry. Um. Yeah, but just let her know what you like, what you just like, man, yeah. and so it could be. 